for all those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started. Uh, Jensen, <laughs> pointy head Jensen, uh, he is just so clueless as to as to what he's actually doing with that math. I mean, it's just yeah, it's just, yeah, Mays. Yeah, and his debate with Mays, uh, Mays pointed out, like, this is not something anyone is using, this calculation no. that you have used, which I thought was so funny about it. It's like, here's the guy that is, you know, supposed to be their new tough guy on the block, and even and the, the biologist he's talking to is like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know? Right, yeah. How did humans enter the new world? Okay, so it seems like kind of a vague question. Like, for example, I'm using direct evidence. Geography is not oh, in here. What's vague? You got people Genetics. here. Well, I'm saying, when did they just, arrive just, according just, to Arjun, your I know you're excited. Just one sec. Just one sec. Mm -hmm. I, I gave a number of lines of evidence uh, directly from uh, – because molecular clocks, for example, that, that can differentiate between the models. And guess what? The mitochondrial DNA, for example, and I showed the Parsons paper, the Gibbons paper, based on the actual empirically observed mutation Let's rate. Let's talk about that Gibbons paper. Is that the 1997 commentary in science? Let me – so would you you want to skip past the Parsons paper and go to the Gibbons paper? Well, that was, it was a commentary on it. Are you trying to tell me that that 1997 work precludes work done after that that doesn't support that argument? Every single, for the most part, pedigree-based mitochondrial DNA mutation rate study, including Gibbons, including the Parsons paper, I have a few more here, the FBI even adopted that mutation rate, takes us back 6,000 years to a mitochondrial leave based on consistent mutation rates. How do you explain that data, RJ? I may have to read the section I did on it with Jackson in the book. That may take a bit. Let me see if I can find that. I mean, this this paper right here, it's modeling Parson, the recent Pearson, common ancestry of all living humans. The most recent common ancestor of all present day humans lived just a few thousands uh, years ago in these models. And I got all these papers. You see, in, you've seen them in my opening presentation. Now, here we go. I'm going to ask you again, and, I, and I'll give you plenty of time to, to answer based on the empirical method, based on pedigree based studies. Okay. Mitochondria leave goes back just 6,000 years ago. And Dr. Nathaniel Jensen said, okay, if this is true, the history of civil war. No, it doesn't. I want to hear what you got to say. Just real quick, real quick. I will not say anything it's other than specific. it's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, okay, but RJ, that's not an answer. So I want to give you as much time as you can. Nobody in modern genetics, see, we, nobody, we I know you like to, to repeat this. Nobody RJ, I'm excited too. If we're, if I'm peeved because this other. is annoying. Okay, I hate if to you're going to gonna ask you me like. Hold on one second. No, no, it is a real question. It's very simple, very simple. And I asked it in my opening too. Okay, how does RJ, we can talk about the Y chromosome after, but first we'll start with the mitochondrial DNA. How does RJ explain that based on the- Are we gonna go on on this for the next half hour? Yeah, no, 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 just, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make it quick. I know what your explanation is. And then I, I'm gonna ask I've you answered this question predictions. multiple times. All I'm going to say again is it's wrong. Mitochondrial DNA, mitochondrial <laughs> Eve is not dated to 6,000 years by any current geneticist. Creationists claim that and use a variety of circumlocutions. But I will not, I, I can't you want me otherwise to say this again, that James? they believe something. Swamidas doesn't um, believe that. Richard Bugs doesn't believe it. Have to do Why is, don't they believe it? Why don't because they, they know it? the data. It's their field. No, no. Because those that hold to the assumption of universal common ancestry, they're doing similar analysis. Bugs doesn't. Real quick, RJ, real quick. I'm giving you as much time as you need to respond, but all you're saying is they're wrong. If you want three minutes to explain the data, this is the observed Mutation rate. People like Swami Das and, and people in, in these papers, right? The Parsons paper, the Gibbons paper, they're doing the analyses after the fact to calibrate it with the fossil record. But the thing is, here's what they're doing. They're using hypothetical mutation rates that are about 20 fold lower than what is observed. So and as you, you know, insist. They just, real quick, just wait, RJ, RJ. They justify this based upon certain evolutionary assumptions. And that assumption is that universal common ancestry is a fact. But the point in question is the geological column and the time frame. So all we need to use is the empirical method. And even the secular papers say Eve goes back 6,000 years ago. So how do you explain that without invoking uh, phylogeny assumptions and so on and so forth? Take as much time as you need, RJ. Go. Uh, I'm going to only say again that's not the data point. You can insist that's what the facts are up the yin yang here. Nobody other than the creationists claim that mitochondrial Eve only dates back not to 6,000 years. I can't say that 
I will stipulate that I will say that a bunch of times, going and you'll stipulate that you're going to say the opposite a bunch of times. Can we move beyond that now? No, I want to screenshot. Okay, if you're going to make that claim, okay, and you're going to hold to that claim, I'm going to screenshot yes, I am. four papers that I have here. For example, the are we ever going to get to the new world? We're talking we, about the new world right here right, because no, we are. a good time to transition. So, yeah, okay, I, I want to point out to the audience that so far on the ape specific satellite DNA that should be uh, seen flanking the reputed fusion site, RJ failed. He's also failed on the mitochondrial DNA. 